it, it is better be the last damn part. <laughs> Although it might not be. I don't know. No, but I hear you on that. That's... Yeah. And, and to all the people who want to say, oh, the name is bad, the name is bad, you know. The, the, why is iPad so bad? Because all you women out there that think it's an insult to women, you know, now, of course, not all women think that, but there's some out there like Molly Wood from CNET, who's just an Apple hater and hates on Apple just because she don't like Apple, and saying stupid things like, I'm insulted by the name or offended by the name iPad. Well, how come Miss Molly Wood, you're not offended by the name ThinkPad? And just because it's got an I in front of it makes it different than ThinkPad? <laughs> ThinkPad sounds like a maxi-pad, too. No more than iPad. I never heard nobody giving ThinkPad a hard time. It's because it's got all the, the word think in front of the word pad makes it better than iPad. Yeah, it so seems like people like Molly Wood are just finding excuses Apple to hate on Apple because they don't like Apple. What? Say that again? I said uh, IBM and Lenovo probably sold a pistol of more of those ThinkPads than Apple ever did. Probably. No, you know, yeah, people are saying this thing's going to sell millions of units, and it may, but I, I don't think it's going to be the predominant platform. No, it's I, not. I don't yeah. see it being like their how many like their iPhone sales. I don't see that happening. No, and honestly, um, you know, the more I look at these Android devices that are coming out, mm -hmm. it, it's and, and, and it's not like these things are being completely ignored. Yeah. People are looking at, in a lot of ways, they're. The Android tablets coming out are what the rumors of what the Apple device was going to be. You know, they, they are the better device. They're more geared towards what a business would need, yeah. or, in a lot of cases, a school would need. Yeah. Apple is further, Apple's basically made the mistake again they made back when, um, you know, the original OS 4. Uh -huh. Windows versus o uh, Apple OS, because... Oh, I mean, all the set-top boxes. There's a lot of the manufacturers and cable companies and stuff that do this looking to make those Android devices. Yeah. If, I mean, with all of that, Android being licensed out and all of that stuff becoming versions of Linux in the form of Android and going in, it's basically going to mean those people's ability to just port straight over is going to be nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like basically they just need the okay to prove their thing in the marketplace. And on all the devices that aren't locked down like yours, <laughs> that's um... okay. Uh, and deep down, I, I think people like that kind of jealous. I do. I think they're kind of jealous. I think they look at him and say, "Oh shit, that looks great," but I hate their rules, so fuck them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use Apple products because I don't like their rules. And speaking of rules, uh, there was a publication here recently that was banned from the Apple Store because of, you know, lewd or, or kind of um, untasteful content. You know, Apple's been going on a banning spree. And this had, it was a German app, and it had, you know, women, when you shake the app, it takes the clothes off and they moan. Well, Apple made them put bikinis on the women, okay? They did that. But inside the application on the iPhone is a link or is a way to access their PDF version online. Okay, so this the, their iPhone application gives them direct access to the PDF Brilliant. version online. And their PDF Brilliant. version, or whatever version it is, that they have access in their, their print version, has the, the the lewd content in it, okay? And Apple's saying, listen, you either got to stop selling this app on the App Store, or you got to change the content in your print publication. Because you're linking to this print publication from our iPhone app, and it's got lewd, lewd content in it. And now these people are griping and complaining, and Gizmodo, too, had an article, War on the iPhone. And if anybody's going to declare war on the iPhone, then you need to give up your iPhone. You can't declare war on something and then keep using it, okay? But um, Gizmodo wasn't declaring war. They were saying that this comp... Didn't he say once that he has a Windows machine somewhere in his place? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Probably does. He owns the Apple's declaring war. And uh, I'm sorry, they're screaming, oh, they're trying to make us change our print magazine. They're trying to make, tell us what we can do with our own publication. And I need to stop and correct you right there, guys. No, they are not. They're not telling you you have to change your, your publication content. 
You can't, they're not telling you that, even though you want to say in the article, you said Apple's forcing us to change our content in our publication. That has nothing to do with the iPhone app. And Apple's not forcing you to do anything. Apple has a marketplace and they have a set of rules. If you don't abide by those rules, you don't have to sell your stuff in the Apple marketplace. You don't have to change your, your print publication. Just choose not to sell it in the App Store, okay? Is, is, is that forcing you to do anything? No, you have a choice. It's a closed ecosystem. They own it. They can do what they want. If I owned my own store, nobody could force me to sell it. Yeah, I honestly think some of that argument's a cultural thing. Yeah. No, like, what is it? In the States, you can cuss. You can cut someone into 40 billion pieces. But, oh, no, show a titty nipple and we have to cry foul! Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Europe... They can do the news nude, yeah. and <laughs> nobody bats an eye, but heaven forbid a gun go off in something. <laughs> it's just, the things we censor as humans. Anything I didn't want to, for no matter what reasons it might be. Walmart doesn't sell rude and lewd content. Why not? Because they don't sell that kind of stuff. Now, what if there was a, uh, what if there was a magazine that didn't have any X-rated content in it, but on the front page when you opened it up, there was a big article that said, "Type in this code in any web browser and get free triple X content, or get free porn, or I get free, a lot. you know, women undressing." <laughs> Technically, that magazine isn't printing or publishing anything that is of questionable content. Let's just assume it's a family magazine. You know, the only thing that they're publishing is that code. And that code takes you to the bad content, okay? Now, there's not necessarily any bad content in the magazine, but that code that they freely provide to anybody who opens it does take you to that content, okay? Now, Walmart, in my opinion, would have every right to say, we're not going to put this magazine on our newsstands because you have a link inside this magazine that everybody can see that takes you to bad content, and I don't want some kid coming into Walmart, buying this magazine, punching this code in when they get home, and their mama walking in the room saying, oh my God, what's happening? Where did you get this? I got it from a magazine at Walmart, mommy. Okay? So, you gotta put yourself in Apple's... Uh, 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 okay, he's acting like anybody can buy this app. I have a question. Hmm. Y you've been buying iPhone apps and yeah. other crap. Were they, um, rated... Uh, I, I can't remember. There may have been some of them, yeah. Okay, so like Apple has a system in there where basically you can't download this thing unless you're over a certain age on some things. I think so. Yeah, okay. It's a real simple solution to this. Yeah. Make that app a uh, 17 or inner mature, or, you know, pick an age, whatever. It's the, yeah. the, the horn buying age for the state where the cell phone plan is. There, yeah. problem solved. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, call it what it is. That's, <laughs> it's, you know, people trying to legislate morality kind of gets my cackles up. It's, uh, regulate, don't ban. <laughs> Choose. They're looking at this stuff via this application, and somebody says, oh my god, how are you watching this via the app store? You know, and Apple has a reputation to protect. They are, they got to be more family oriented than, than, than people who want to see mature content. I've even heard of uh, mobile phone app developers developing, like pedophiles, developing these apps that are disguised as children apps that use clever... Well, that should be fucking banned up. <laughs> Coming up on time, looks like we're going to have to take one more part to do this, damn it. I'm not sure what the hell porn has to do with getting the iPad, though. <laughs>